Greetings wrestling fans, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be talking about NXT 2.0, a review of the show Patrick? No, no, that is not what you're seeing. On my stream today, if you guys have seen that stream, I talked about how I've read, I've, I'm going to talk about NXT 2.0 and how I've said I need to say some things about this show that I personally feel need to be said. Turn that down a little bit because it may be too loud for you guys, but I feel there's some things that need to be said. When NXT 2.0 first started, I believe I remember making a video about it. Round about the time it started, and how I said how I was going to give it a chance, and how, you know, I was going to let it go for a while before I really gave my true opinion. And I think I even said I didn't mind it at first. Those opinions have definitely changed. Now some of you may say, oh well, you don't watch it on a week to week basis. That is true, I don't. But do I need to? When I've got Twitter and YouTube. Do I need to? I've got Twitter and YouTube. I could just look at the stuff that happened on the show and say whether if any of it was good or not. Now obviously there are some good things about it, like Toxic Attraction, I love Mandy and, and her faction. I love Cora Jade. And you know I love the Australians like Indy Hartwell, Persia Parada, Grayson Waller, Duke Hudson. There are people on Cora, and even, you know, Cora Jade, if I mentioned her or not. There are, there are people on the show I like. There are people on the show I like. That's not the problem. The problem is, is how NXT 2.0 has been booked. Let's talk about Mandy Rose for first. Let's talk about Mandy Rose first, since this has been the thing that's been on my mind all day after seeing what happened on NXT today. You know I love Mandy and how and I personally I personally didn't want her in NXT at first, but my opinions have definitely changed over the last several months. I personally feel Mandy Rose really did need NXT and how how NXT has blossomed her into a much better wrestler, more smoother wrestler. And let's be real, if it wasn't for Mandy Rose, GG Dolan and JC Jane wouldn't really be a thing. So I think we can all really look at that as a positive. It got two new stars on TV, which was a big massive positive. There are definitely some positives in NXT. But I'm not here to talk about the positives. I'm here to mainly talk about the negatives that I have about NXT 2.0. So let's talk about one of the big negatives. Currently right now, Mandy Rose is in this ridiculous feud with Wendy Chu. And by the way, Wendy Chu was once Mi Ying, that creepy girl with the white face paint. You know, she used to be with, I believe it was Boa and Xia Li before Xia Li got called up. I believe that's what she was doing prior to this me to this Wendy Chu stuff. Honestly, I find this Wendy Chu character and everything about it completely stupid, corny, childish, and re stupid. I just think it's a completely stupid character. It gives me too much Bailey vibes. It reminds me too much of Babyface Bailey and why I hated that character. But I guess minus the pillows and minus the, the water guns and the booby traps. Like seriously, like I don't understand how people find Wendy Chu entertaining. Because one of my friends told me, well, 
Wendy's character is supposed to be the E in, in, in WWE. Well, I'm sorry to break it to them. I don't really find it entertaining. I don't... I, I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. I don't find it funny. I'm sorry. I don't find it funny. If I want comedy... If I want comedy... I would watch something that's actually funny. Wendy Chu is not funny. I'm sorry. She may be a decent wrestler. And she may make the character work. But I don't like it. And it's my opinion. I don't have to like it. And this has been one of the other main problems. My, one of my main problems is that people just do not respect my opinions. They just think, oh, I'm just being too harsh. Oh, I should give things a chance. Wendy Chu's character is literally making Mandy Rose look like a complete utter pussy. Mandy Rose is supposed to be the NXT Women's Champion and she's running away from a woman in pillow in, in bl with, with bloody tissues. Uh, not tissues, what's it, what's it called? Pajamas, PJs. She's running away from a person in PJs throwing shooting water guns, shooting toy water guns and dropping booby traps on people. This is supposed to be funny? This is supposed to be funny. I'm not laughing. So that's one of my big major problems with NXT. How I think Wendy Chu's character is completely stupid. You know, if you know me, I mainly watch wrestling now for the women. And how do you think it makes me feel watching the NXT women's programs? Seeing Wendy Chu do this with Mandy Rose. Seeing Lash Legend, who is who is awful, nearly as bad as Eva Marie, and, and Nikita Lyons, which I don't have a real issue with her. She's okay. She's okay, not awful. And then I got, and then I'm seeing Natalia and Cora Jade's feud. Cora Jade had all the momentum in the world. And now she's, re now she's relegated to feuding with a main roster star like Natalia. Cora Jade had all the momentum behind her with, this ho with her feud with Mandy Rose. And now she's relegated to this. And that's my other ma major problem that I've been having lately, is the main roster stars coming to NXT. At first I thought it was a cool idea. At first I thought it was a, it was a decent idea. I thought, hey, you know, having some of the main roster stars come to NXT, help out some of the people in NXT, you know, you know, that's not a bad idea. And then AJ Styles beat Grayson Waller. Then Dolph Ziggler won the NXT Championship from Bron Breaker. Now, granted, Bron did get his win back. But let's be real, Bron never should have lost the title in the first place. Let's be straight up brutally honest. Bron never should have lost the title in the first place. Oh yeah, and who remembers Dominic Mysterio briefly going down to NXT, beating one of the Legato guys. Yeah, that really yeah, that really elevated uh, Legato Del Fantasma. And now we've got Natalia with Cora Jade. Natalia beat Tad on Paxley. Yeah, yeah, like I'm supposed to have confidence Natalia is gonna put over Cora Jade. And yet, a few friends tell me, Oh, Natalia is one of the most trustworthy superstars to go down to NXT. If you want someone trustworthy to go down to NXT and help out the future of NXT, SEND SASHA BANKS! Because at least Sasha Banks will be willing to lose and actually elevate the people she's working with. You want someone to elevate NXT? Send Sasha down there. Send Bailey. Send Becky. Those people will elevate N NXT. Not people like Natalia. And my other main problem is the booking. There's just so many things I find confusing about it. Who the hell's the face between Tony D'Angelo and Santos Escobar? Like, there's so many ongoing storylines. I just, obviously, I don't get because I don't watch. But I, I know enough to know who's face and who's heel. Well, I should know. When you're pairing two people against each other, I should not understand and know who's face and who's heel. 
and when it comes to the takeover shows, well they're not called that anymore, but still, when it comes to the pay-per-view shows, some of you may say, well of course you're confused, because you don't watch it on a week-to-week -week basis. I don't need to. The commentators catch me up on it. They say pre they, they show what happens on, on pre they show the whole previously on NXT and they show what happened previously. Or they will just say well, well, what's been going on in the storyline. I'm all caught up! I don't need to watch it! All I gotta do is just have the commentators tell me what's going on, and I'm like, okay, I now know what's going on. So that's been my major problems with NXT. And why it's not working with me right now. I've been having friends pestering me, begging me to give NXT a chair, to give it a watch, sit down and watch an episode of NXT for once. Start reviewing NXT, Patrick. I've been having a lot of my friends tell me, please start reviewing NXT shows until they start giving me reasons to. Until they start giving me reasons to, that's when I will start doing so. And those are my problems with NXT 2.0. This is the negative side of NXT 2.0. Maybe I'll be nice enough and give you a positive review. Maybe, maybe if I'm nice enough, maybe I'll talk about the positives of NXT 2.0 eventually down the road. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up, comment your thoughts down below, and I'm pretty sure I offended a lot of people that do like the show. Be sure to like and subscribe, See you all next time.